Welcome back everyone. This video was made at the request of my subscribers. This is in regards to new finish. We have three different versions that have apparently had different results. So I went to Walmart here and I bought just a couple days ago I bought yet another bottle. So this is in July of 2020. $7.57 and you can see on the back it's Energizer Brands copyright 2018 my 20 uh, let's see my 2018 bottle also says copyright 2018 but my 2016 bottle says copyright 2005 Reed Union Corporation which if you followed my other video I talk about Reed Union sold to Energizer Holdings Incorporated in 2018 so I reached out to Energizer and said hey did you guys reformulate this project this product did something change and they responded via email and they and said no it did not change well I'm here to put this to rest I have a bottle from 2016 which is Reed Union I have a bottle from 2018 which is Energizer and that's the one that failed uh, within three months and then I have a bottle that I just bought a couple days ago from 2020 also copyright 2018 but it is a different batch number I'll get to that more in a minute. So in the meantime, I picked up a hood from my friends here in Tyler, Texas at Alpha Pressure Washing. He's another local detailer here. Uh, this was just a hood that he had to have his guys practice wet sanding and polishing and you know see how far you can go until you burn the paint. So as you can see, it's in, it's in pretty rough shape. I think it's from like an old truck or something from the 70s or 80s. If you, if you know what kind of hood it is let me know I'd appreciate it but you can see what kind of shape it's in it's been wet sanded and it wasn't polished out it has some other scratches and defects in it so we're gonna go over the prep process all the way up to the application just to put to rest any error in the process so you can see the condition of this hood as I said it has scratches and swirls and it has a couple deep scratches it is a clear coated hood it's not a single stage hood I'm gonna use shine supply throttle as the detail spray it's been washed outside we wipe it with detail spray clay bar it also using shine supply throttle so I start by taping it off because I don't need to polish the whole hood and in this process I'm using a Rupes Bigfoot 21 with a microfiber pad and Shine Supply Chop Top. I'm going to check it under a light and I think we're going to have to go a little bit more aggressive than this. Looks pretty good until you put it under a light and this is why I always use that hashtag put a light on it on anything. We're going to get out the Makita 9227 and the wool pad along with some Meguiar's M105 get a little bit more aggressive I don't think it'll get perfect but it'll be at least a better prep surface and I'll finish it out so it's a little nicer we do have the Rupes rotary polisher too but my 9227 that's kinda of my go-to that's my I've had that that's my second one I've had in 20 something years of doing this come behind it with the microfiber and shine supply chop top see if we can get some some of the holograms out check it with the light didn't wipe it all that well but you can still see still see that there are some swirls in it We'll go ahead and finish it out with fine polish. We'll use Rupes yellow pad and their fine polish. And I think we're going to leave it at that. For what it's worth, this is far more than most anyone would do when you're typically applying new finish. So any of the haze you see there, that's just left over from the polish. We're going to wipe it with a diluted 35% isopropyl alcohol and distilled water mix so 65% distilled water 35% isopropyl alcohol tape it off into three sections you see the haze is mostly gone still has a couple little swirls again we're not concerned about that here it's way better than the hood started no sense in 
trying to polish it out to perfection, chase it out for, for this kind of test. I'm going to take, apply my vinyl labels, the beauty of having a company that has a paint protection film cutter so you can cut your own vinyl decals. So there we, there we have it, the fully prepped surface. You can see that there are a couple defects that remain, but the, it's got good clear coat. So here is our copyright 2005, which is purchased in 2016 from Walmart here in Lindale, Texas. Tyler, Texas. Lindale is just a suburb. Purchased in 2018. Copyright 2018 from the same store. And yet again, same store. 2018. Purchased July 2020 different batch numbers and just because I know new finish does watch these videos there's all your batch numbers if you want to check dates or failure points so now we're going to get into the preparation and the instructions say to apply with a damp cloth so in this case we're going to use a microfiber applicator that's sprayed with distilled water and then applied as instructed you put it on, wait till it hazes up, and you wipe it off. So if you don't want to watch the whole process, skip ahead about four minutes. So I'm not going to narrate any of this. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'll just put some music on, and you can sit back and enjoy the show, or jump ahead about four minutes. Thanks.
was exciting, wasn't it? It was like watching flies. F oh, yeah, this is a family channel. Let's not <laughs> let's not go there. Anyway, so there we have it. You can see the really no visible difference between all three of them. I'm going to show you one more thing here. One of the questions that always comes up is about the temperature of the application. So have an infrared FLIR 130 temp gun. You can see it's about 73 Fahrenheit. 75 over there for some reason. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's an indoor temperature. It's in our shop. It's air conditioned. And it's 100 something degrees Fahrenheit out. So it's, you know, 38, 39 degrees centigrade outside. So those are within two or three degrees. My cheap little thermometer, it always reads a little high. Now we're going to just remove the tape. You can see what the panel looks like under shop lighting. This is just LED lighting. So we've got, we've got a couple more things before we're ready to stick this outside and wash it for the first time. One of the things that had intrigued me, I put this on a white background so you could see it better, is the color. The one on the left, the 2016, that's the Reed Union one, it has kind of a tan color, it has a different smell, and it has a different texture to it than the other two. The 2018 and the 2020 versions of the Energizer, they are a whiter color and the 2018 and the 2020 they are even between the two of them are a different color now that could be age you know the 2016 we're talking four years and two years old maybe they change color well it obviously didn't affect the performance we know that so you can see all three here have a picture here that where I spread it around I touched it felt it smelled it tried to figure out any differences and the only noticeable difference was other than the color is the 2016 version was much thicker and it you could feel it in your hand when you rub it against your fingers I think there's definitely a difference so what we're going to do here in a minute is dive into the SDS it's called the safety data sheet or the MSDS material data safety sheet and we'll see if anything has changed in regards to that so here I'm spreading it around with a squeegee, cleaning it off each time, of course. One other thing, Energizer did issue me a refund for the 2018 product there, and there's a check they sent me for $15.14. Now we're going to get into the MSDS. I was able to get ones online all the way back to 2010. So here's new finish, Reed Union. You can see it's petroleum distillates, ceramic microspheres, and oleic diethanol amide in various percentages. They don't, of course, give the exact percentage because it's a trade secret. But for eyes, you know, warnings, mild irritation. Skin, moderate irritation, vapor may irritate nose and throat, may cause drowsiness, dizziness, etc. It gets so much worse than this. You'll see here in just a minute. This, this surprised the heck out of me. And one of my subscribers actually had mentioned something about this in a previous video where I had talked about new finish. And I know as time has gone on the safety data sheets have gotten more strict so there's more but color off-white that is important you'll see in the very next one let's move to 2012 revised in 2015 so this would still be Reed Union at this time new finish car polish Reed Union Chicago Illinois now hazards can mutate cells, it's carcinogenic, aspiration toxicity. It's on a, a low, low category, but it's still 
may cause genetic defects, may cause cancer, may be fatal if swallowed. Something obviously changed. It says appearance, white, physical state liquid, odor, solvent. So it does have a solvent smell. So it, it went from off-white to white, and the white stuff is now apparently pretty bad for you. And it still gets worse. Don't use it with alcohol. That's what it says. I don't know. Good beer and wax in your car. That's that's the way to do it. Ingredients in, in here appear to be slightly different. So let's go to the 2016 one that I found. So this would be pretty close to the first one that I purchased there. In 2016, Reed Union still owned it. Still causes the same amount of issues, hazards. It's still white. It's still odor. The odor is still a solvent odor. On to 2018. Now it says Energizer Holdings. Made in Westlake, Ohio. At least the supplier of the safety data sheet. I believe it's made in St. Louis now. St. Louis, Missouri. More hazards now. It's you can't breathe it. It's toxic. It causes mutations of cells. It's sensitive skin. It's flammable. It can be ignited by potential ignition sources. It can cause cancer. It can cause genetic defects. Allergic to skin. It can be fatal if entered in your airway. In, entered, swallowed and entered airways. I cannot talk right now. Combustible. Don't handle unless you've read all the warnings. Don't breathe it. Don't swallow it. Don't get it on your skin. It makes me feel bad because I had it on my skin earlier for part of this test. Petroleum distillates, that's where the flammability comes from amongst the other chemicals. Now there's five different items in the mixture. Distillates, amides, benzo something. I said it's, it's some nasty stuff now. They keep changing it. And of course the last one, most recent, from May of 2020. Very similar to the 2018 Keeping in mind that that 2016 bottle has a 2005 copyright date on it, I'm more apt to think that we have the 2010 MSDS, how it's kind of that off-white color. That may, may be the case here and maybe why it, it reacts differently, why it lasts longer, because they've obviously changed something. Still on the new, the new bottles, fatal can cause skin reactions, genetic defects, cancer, damage to organs, nervous system. Don't handle it without protective gloves, eye protection, face protection. And finally, here is the control test. Outside, it's been sitting for a day. We're a little early here for the start date, but I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Today is July 29th, 2020. I'm going to foam it off and rinse it right now don't need to wash it obviously since it's brand new just brought it outside to be in the elements 24 hours a day seven days a week using chemical guys honeydew snow foam for the soap using deionized water from a CR spotless water system MTM hydro pressure washer attachments and hoses and an electric power stroke two words not not like the Ford power stroke pressure washer 1950 PSI so that's going to wrap it up as far as the intro and the setup the process of all three of these new finished products so I invite you to subscribe to this video hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I post a new video. Just like my other hood test, I'll do an update about every month 
early on I may do two weeks just to see if anything has changed, if we get any type of weather other than heat, because it's just really hot right now. It's it's typically been pretty close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, as I said before, 38, 39 degrees centigrade. Thanks for watching. Please, please share this video. Share it on social media, Instagram, everywhere else, Reddit. You guys have been very supportive in my in my journey with all of this trying to find out the truth about some of these products getting a lot of a lot of attention about it some good some bad new finish is aware that I'm making this video I did email them and told them that they they encouraged me to do it so there it is thank you again and we will see you in two to four weeks <laughs>